right amidst politicians uh, stepping down, challenging party leaderships, and of course the seismic shift of a new resident at number 10. There was a moment in uh, Westminster this week that uh, has perhaps been picked up more than others. As uh, David Cameron announced the timescale for Theresa May to take over as Prime Minister, he was caught doing this. Thank you very much. This is a sad day for you, Prime Minister. Well, those few notes David Cameron hummed have now been turned into a classical song and the composer Thomas Stuart Jones joins me now. It's gone viral beyond belief, hasn't it, this, uh, this piece you have created? Anthony, it's gone international and I can't believe how far it's gone. I mean, it's gone all over the world and we're getting requests from everywhere to be, you know, playing this piece. We've actually just released the sheet music online as well. The Classic FM website has all the sheet music for download for free and people are beginning to play it. This morning I had a young, young girl who who works on social media a lot. She's, she can't be, you know, GCSE. She's, beyond, she's much younger than GCSE. And she's just recorded her own version already. Um, but there's interest everywhere. And we've got it coming on iTunes. I cannot believe what's happened in the last 48 hours. We will listen to it in a moment. But, you know, of all the, the moments that can inspire a piece of music that we've seen this week, we've had new prime ministers going. Did you ever imagine that it would be that kind of off the, off the guard moment that David Cameron shared with us all? Not at all. I mean, I was just I was just powering down my studio after a long day's work, and I'm a composer full time. And uh, I saw the news. I just checked my phone and saw this thing, and I thought, Oh my God, this is amazing! And then uh, Classic FM actually posted, you know, does anyone want to? improvise something or try something out and I just got inspired you know it was about sort of uh, midnight 45 and I did it for about you know a couple of hours by about 2 a.m it was online and suddenly it snowballed so you know very grateful to Plastic FM for getting behind it but it's absolutely amazing. Well, let's just uh, take a listen then this is uh, the lament uh, to David Cameron. Fancy and David Cameron. Now, I have a question because I interpreted that moment to be a relatively positive moment for him, although it was quite sad him leaving. It felt like a bit of an upbeat moment. He was saying, right, that's it, move on. And yet the, the piece is quite dark. It, it takes you perhaps into perhaps what went on behind when he closed the door and carried on. That's right. I mean, it's funny you say that because he, he obviously sang this thing as one would, you know, a fun little thing, fun little home. Maybe he was saying, it's the end of my premiership now I can stand down and spend more time with my lovely kids and the family but actually I think it was a minor key you see the, the the chords he sang it was a breakdown of a chord it was a sort of a broken chord which was basically a minor tonality and in music minor often means quite sad mm. so I thought well my response would be to see what happened see what maybe I don't know what Freud would have said but something he might have been thinking about something he might have slightly thought well actually this isn't you know maybe everyone sort of left me in it and actually Two fingers up to everyone. I don't know, you know. But what I love about this situation we've got in the last 48 hours, which is snowballing, um, is that the, the arts, I think, should engage with politics and social issues. And the, the role of a composer and any artist really should be to engage and inform and comment on what's going on today. So I'm just writing a piano concerto at the moment about refugees. And it's just a wonderful way to be able to make the arts applicable to everyone. I mean, everybody should learn a musical instrument. Everyone should have the chance to be a musical, musical you know, musician, play, play instruments at school if they wish, and take it on further. It's just a wonderful thing because it's such an inherent wiring that us human beings have to respond to these amazing uh, neurons firing caused by sound. And, uh, and so it's just, it's, it's crazy. But look, I would encourage everyone to go and download the sheet music and have a go at playing it because it's just, it's spreading a bit of love and that's what that's the best we can all do really, isn't it? It is, yeah. And you know, we saw yesterday that David Cameron was obviously quite sad and so it kind of feels potentially quite fitting. Uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. We can hear you actually playing this music on, on Sunday Radio 4. On Sunday morning uh, Radio 4 just phoned before I came on and they want it live on Sunday. Oh. So check it. It's around 10 o'clock on Sunday. Thank there you so much, Anthony. We'll listen. Okay, uh, that's uh, uh, Thomas Stewart jones there who has composed that uh, fancy... It's on iTunes soon. <laughs> ...on David Cameron and he's getting his plug in there. You can get it online as well. Right, stay with us still to come. We'll have the latest on this story uh, and uh, all the movements from Westminster. It is as uh, Prime Minister Theresa May continues to build her new cabinet.